Hi. I'm Jan Moore from the Daily Mail. Hi. I'm a gay man. A gay man. God, that's disgusting. You must live a deviant lifestyle that corrupts the very fabric of society. Actually, no, Jan. I'm just a man who happens to be gay. There's nothing particularly deviant about me, to be honest with you. I don't believe you. I think you lead a glittering, hedonistic celebrity life, and just by being here in this room your more dangerous lifestyle has seeped out for all to see. What on earth are you talking about? I think you and your pals at the Daily Mail are a bit paranoid. I mean, what do you object to so much about gay people? Are you afraid you'll catch gayness? You're not wrong. In fact, you're damn right. Just being in a room with a gay man, I'm not only exposing myself to the danger of having my lofty morals being tarnished, but I may in fact catch some sort of gayness. And if that happened, I'd definitely get sacked from the Daily Mail. Honestly Jan, it's okay to be in a room with a gay man. Nothing sinister will happen. And you can't catch gayness, so you don't have to be worried about that. In fact, I bet some of the people who work at the Daily Mail are gay. You're fucking kidding me. That's impossible. We have a screening program which ensures we don't have any gayness in our offices. And how do you screen people, Jan? Simple. We don't allow people to work at the Daily Mail who have facial hair like you. It's too gay. So, it looks like I'll never get a job at your newspaper then, does it? No. I doubt it. But if you're capable of writing vile and hateful opinion pieces, like I do, then there may be a chance for you. But you'll have to shave. And stop being gay. Jan. I really do have to agree with Stephen Fry. You're a repulsive nobody. I do wish you and your newspaper disappear from public view forever and cease this idiotic gay bashing. You really have stooped to a new low with your latest article. Nice one. Really good Jan. Well done. You fucking idiot.